Hello guys, if you like my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and hit this bell icon. Hello everyone, you are most welcome again on my YouTube channel. Today is day 43 for history of English literature. And the topic for the day is the age of Dryden, the restoration period. The year between 1660 to 1700. The time period was in between these two dates. Now, if we talk about the stories, अगर हम कहानियों की बात करें तो कहानी पूरी चलती है Charles II and James II के all around. The story revolves around Charles II and George James II. And there are a few terms like the Whigs. If you don't know, keep on watching the Tories. And if you don't know the Bloodless Revolution of 1688, keep on watching. Now, let's start today's video and the discussion if we are talking about the restoration period so first of all the question comes in mind then what is the restoration Ki restoration hota gaya. so it was you know the restoration of charles ii from commonwealth okay so the restoration was from commonwealth to kingship so if you have not watched my previous video, The Age of Milton, you cannot understand if you don't know the history of English literature. So you must watch the previous videos in order to understand that what was Commonwealth and how it happened. So three historical events are important in this period. First is the restoration of the year in 1660. Second is the religious controversy. And third is the revolution of 1688. To understand the revolution of 1688, uh, and sometimes people say we easily forget the dates, it is because we don't know the reason behind the years. Jata log ye ek complain hoti hai, ke hum years bhool jate hai, ki jaise 1688 mein the revolution hua tha, okay, and restoration mana jata hai, 1660 se 1700. To kahin na kahin hum we don't know the reason behind the dates that's why we forget like you will never forget that 1700 is the uh, last year of restora uh, restoration because Dryden dies in that uh, he passed away in that particular year so if you know the reason behind it or you know the story behind it then you don't forget it so try to know the reason behind the things like the Whigs and Tories. We are doing discussion under the the period, the restoration period or the age of Dryden. So कहीं न कहीं इनका connection बनाते हुए चलेंगे, ठीक है? So let's come to the story of Charles II. He was a kind of devout person. He was a bad person. He was always surrounded by the mistresses and uh, he was surrounded by corrupt and he that time in his court profligacy uh, was glorified people were not uh, you know talking sense and uh, they were not creating any meaning uh, meaningful things so everything was not good all around charles ii aap dekh sakte hain ki agar hum bole ki charles ii ke jo time mein aur he was himself a bad person okay so that's why, why he was losing his command over his country. So later what happened and uh, there was the great fire of 1665 and the great plague. But still they were enjoying, the Charles II was enjoying. Now there were two groups of people happened there. The first were the Whigs and the second was to uh, were Tories. So who were Whigs and who were Tories? Now from here the story. Okay, this story ko yahan se samajhne ko koshish kijiye ki Charles II was not a good king. So there were there were two groups. One were who were supporting him, and second were who were not supporting him. So Whigs, so the both uh, groups were called the Whigs and the Tories. So first was Whigs. Whigs were who wanted to limit the royal power and second were the Tories who supported divine rights. Divine rights tells uh, it is divine right to king means he is you know uh, all in all there means the king is all in all they think and they support this notion 
and uh, this is very important to understand that all almost all writers were tories means they were believing in divine rights and they were supporting king and uh, tory including dryden the we can say leading poet of the age was was dryden and dryden was tory तो इस बात को अगर हम समझते हैं वी अंडरस्टैंड दीज ऑल सिचुएशन वी विल नेवर फर्गेट द थिंग्स नाउ लेट्स कम टू द स्टोरी हियर जेम्स सेकंड जेम्स सेकंड वाज द ब्रदर ऑफ चार्ल्स सेकंड बट एक्चुअली चार्ल्स सेकंड डिडेंट हैव एनी लेजिटमेट एयर उनका कोई अपना लेजिटमेट सन नहीं था सो देर वॉज अ प्रॉब्लम आफ्टर चार्ल्स सेकेंड कौन किंग बनेगा द क्वेश्चन वॉज हु विल बी द किंग ऑफ After Charles II, so people uh, now th- this is also very important to understand. Country was Protestant. There were two kinds of churches in England. We know Protestant and uh, Catholics. So country me kya chal raha tha us time? That time country was Protestant, and James uh, James II was Catholics. Try to understand this story. Yahan se samajhne ki koshish kijiye ki James II kya hai? आपका कैथोलिक्स है कंट्री क्या है प्रोटेस्टेंट है तो दोनों में क्लैश होगा ऑब्वियस बात है क्लैश होगा चार्ल्स सेकंड एक मींस ही वाज अ करप्ट पर्सन हिमसेल्फ अब वो यहां पर चल रहा है ग्रेट फायर ऑफ यू नो 1665 और प्लेग पीपल आर सफरिंग लोग सफर uh, कर रहे हैं एंड चार्ल्स सेकंड इज एंजॉइंग सो क्या होगा देर वर टू ग्रुप्स देन कि कुछ लोग उसे सपोर्ट करेंगे एंड सम विल से दैट ही वॉज नॉट करेक्ट सम सम पीपल विल अपोज हिम सेम थिंग इज हैपनिंग हियर आफ्टर चार्ल सेकेंड चार्ल सेकेंड ने क्या किया कि जेम्स सेकेंड को किंग बना के एंड ही फास्ट हुए सो चार्ल सेकेंड के बाद जेम्स सेकेंड बनता है द किंग ऑफ ब्रिटेन नाउ ही इज कैथोलिक कंट्री इज प्रोटेस्टेंट सो देयर इज यू नो दे आर नाउ फाइटिंग फॉर देयर ओन राइट्स and he tries to establish catholicism because king himself is catholic so he tries to uh, bring catholicism so that's why there was a bloodless revolution so remember this thing of 1688 and this is this point 1668 is transition period uh, from tomorrow or uh, the next video will be about you know the literary things or literary qualities of the year the is so it was the transition period so this is very important to understand 1688 and after that william and mary because they removed james second they removed james second and who became king and queens william and mary and they became king and queen because just because they were protestant so are you getting this story religion is playing a great role in making kings and queens that's why and whenever we study you know their cultural studies in you can see the uh, syllabus of ugc net you will see cultural studies what is cultural studies you need to study culture at the same point as you are studying literature so religion is you know the integral part of culture here you can see uh, it is affecting it is influencing things aap dekh sakte hain ki religion ka har jagah influence hai whether it is uh, about we will study milton we will come to know that he was uh, uh, of the particular you know religion that's why he was writing about the particular things he was influenced by the, his thoughts about religion so th- same thing is happening here Dryden's Absalom and Achitophel reflects these religious and political conflicts of today. डे अगर हम बात करें कि एप्सलम एंड एक्टोफल की ड्राइडन के एक इंपॉर्टेंट वर्क है सो इट वॉज रिफ्लेक्टिंग द रिलीजियस एंड पोलिटिकल कॉन्फ्लिक्ट ऑफ द डे सो होपफुली दिस प्रेजेंटेशन और दिस वीडियो विल मेक द नोशन क्लियर अबाउट द रेस्टोरेशन पीरियड एंड द एज ऑफ ड्राइडन दिस वॉज एन इंट्रोडक्शन पार्ट ऑफ द एज and if you really like the video please do thumbs up and uh, share the video with your friends bye bye take care see you in next video